Yo, what's up, guys? Alex Baker here for Stochastic. Got a nice week five slate, and I think this one's going to be pretty interesting. So I'm going to build three lineups for DraftKings. So I'm going to start off by just taking a gander at the top stacks. It happens to be free today, Friday. And like some chalky stacks at the top, Buffalo, Tampa Bay, both big favorites this week. Um, but we got some options here. Well, the Rams, very low owned. The Chargers look to be quite low owned. And then, um, yeah, I think we can kind of mix it up at stack. So this should be pretty interesting. I'm going to take a look at the lineup generator on Osmo first. So it looks like we got some new, new features implemented. So you can go with all lineups, chalky lineups, balance, contrarian. What this means, chalky is like ones that have all the like top plays of the week. Balance is a mix of contrary and chalky plays. That's probably the one I would go with. Um, so let's go here. So as you can see, like this ownership bar, it's like halfway between chalky and medium. My simulations, I found the best zone to be in is kind of in that like more chalky than your average lineup, but not like to that full extreme. So let's see what we got here. Jalen Hurts uh, plus Goddard, that, not a bad stack. I'd almost want to flip Christian Kirk for uh, Devonta Smith or AJ Brown to, to have two guys with my stack. Although like in this case with Philly, not essential. So I think this one is a pretty good lineup. I would save this one, then I can kind of go through them later. We allow you to save up to 20 lineups, so. All right, Tom Brady, that has me interested. Tom Brady plus Godwin, that's a very good stack. Um, but let's see, the Bucks there. I think there is something to Bucks versus Atlanta because it's like a pass first team. Uh, so I would almost want to get Leonard Fournette into this lineup if I can. And then if... Um, if the Bucks have a day where they put up a lot of points, like you're covering a little bit more of your bases. All right, so we got Fournette plus Godwin in this lineup. This is definitely more along the lines of what I'm thinking. The ownership is extremely chalky. We got Logan Thomas, he's questionable. Najee Harris, uh, low ownership. Let's see, Tampa versus... I'm trying to remember. Pittsburgh is facing Buffalo, so that's not a game sack. But um, I think this one's pretty good. So let's go with this as kind of our chalky stack. Mac Jones, I think, versus the uh, Lions. That's pretty intriguing, assuming he does suit up this week. I think um, Jacoby Myers, uh, other guy, I think he's questionable. He hasn't played in a while. But uh, I like Mac Jones. The guy I'm really looking for is, is Stafford. Let's see if we can find a Stafford lineup. So like we're getting pretty optimal lineups here. So let's go back. I'm going to select the contrary in setting. Since um, Stafford is pretty contrary in this week. All right. So we got Stafford plus Cup plus Higby. Okay, this is an ideal lineup. Look at the projection, like very, very high at 128. And then the ownership, uh, more contrary than normal. So this is why I'm really favoring the um, the RAM stacks this week. So let me put this lineup in the lineup generator just in case you guys haven't used, uh, or sorry, in the lineup builder, just in case you guys haven't used this lineup generator. So you can kind of see how it corresponds to metrics that we have in the lineup builder um we pretty much took the best parts of lineup builder where you can uh see how contrary in your lineup is and how chalky uh and then how well it projects versus the field our mckenzie this is a little bit risky i'd say because we got mckenzie plus singletary so we gotta worry that in this universe where these two guys go off, Josh Allen, we might be regretting that we don't have him instead of Stafford. Myers, he's a good play. He does suit up this week. Matt. 
Bears barely passed, so that I don't feel great about. Oh. Uh, So countering ranking 70 to 80th percentile, value ranking 60 to 70th. So I feel like maybe I need a little bit better value in this lineup. Um, so I feel like maybe pivoting off Devin Singletary, who's like points per dollar isn't great this week, could be advantageous. Let me just see what what kind of projection the optimal lineups have this week. So let me pull up um, chalky lineups. So 135, 134, 136. So like the best lineups have around 136. I want to say within 10 points of that. So like the thing I'm noticing this week, since there's no like crazy good value, like the contrarian lineups might be better than normal because like there's so many different ways to make a lineup that project reasonably well. And I want to mention, you can get these tools for free for three days uh, with our free, free trial. And click that link in the description below to gain access for three days for free for NFL. Since it's Friday today, and if you watch it tomorrow, even better. I mean, you're going to get all the way through Monday covered with that three-day free trial. And hopefully you guys win a bunch of money using these tools. I think you will. and Or at least have some great sweats along the way. And once you do, you know, then stick around, join the community. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And of course, always hit the like. So appreciate all the support. All right, let's make one last lineup here. Um, we did a chalk lineup. We did a contrary lineup. Let's go balance this time. So we did a Brady. Okay, Herbert. Um, it's interesting that this one's saying it's like pretty chalky because the Charger stack looks pretty low on this week. But I don't love Herbert plus Everett, just the two of them. I'd probably want some more um, correlation. Wentz, Diami Brown. I feel like that correlation, he's only projected for five points, so uh, it's not a great stack. Waddle plus Bridgewater. Okay, this is something we can work with. I feel like getting Tyree Kill in this lineup would be probably advisable because Bridgewater doesn't run a ton. So let's keep going. Bridgewater plus Hill. I do like Hill a little bit better than Waddle if just we're getting one of those two guys. But um, I feel like I can flip Kirk into Waddle pretty easily. So. Let's try this one. Butter, Hill, Waddle. Um, and then the Jets on the other side. Like, I feel like you could pick a Brees Hall. I think he's a good play this week. But the cheaper stacks, I, I don't feel as much a need to, to really um, game stack them. Jeff Wilson. He's uh, getting a ton of rushing attempts for the 49ers, but he hasn't really had a uh, game where he went off, so I think he's kind of interesting. <clears throat> we got Godwin, Saints. Godwin's one of my favorite plays this week. He like played way more snaps last week than I was anticipating coming off that injury. So, All right, this lineup we got 129 projection. So I put this in the 50th to 60th range, 40 to 50th uh, percentile contrarian. Compared to, like, I guess, like, from these metrics, the Stafford lineup is a better lineup than this Bridgewater lineup. I do like both of them. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit this weekend, but the Ram stack is my favorite because you can get very contrarian with a good projection. So, guys, I hope this gives you some insight for how to build lineups for week five. If you haven't already signed up, Take advantage of that free trial first in the description. Get that three, three free days. Take you all the way through Monday's slate. And then if you like it, you know, stick around. Guys, let me know what you think of these lamps and good luck this week.